pharmacist, Mr. Ernie Morazic. Nice, for, thank you for coming. Thank you, Stephanie. Pleasure to meet you. You too. So, what was your first job, and how old were you? Um, at approximately 12 years old, I um, knocked on a few doors of some of my, <coughs> excuse me, elderly neighbors, and I um, started shoveling their snow every winter and cutting their lawn every summer. Um, I also had a paper route. Uh, they ran along East Center Street, and I also caddy at the Wallingford Country Club. So you didn't exactly have to go through any process to get that job. You kind of just went around and knocked on people's doors. Right. I, yeah, I actually went and solicited these jobs. Right. So there were no transportation issues. You just walked, right? No, no. It, it was, yeah, a lot of uh, shoe leather. I walked, right. <laughs> I mean, I had a bike, you know, but um, it, it was easier to walk because the, the hills up Center Street are pretty steep. So. Yeah. So was it what you expected? Yeah, th no, the jobs were fine. I knew what I was getting myself into. Um, wh what it brought me was uh, my, my mother helped me set up a uh, savings account at a local bank. So when I wasn't working, if you will, um, I would draw some down some of that money and I learned rather quickly, even back years ago this was, um, the value of money. So what was your most memorable experience working? I think just taking in total the different positions that I um, lined up, I wasn't receiving an allowance from my parents. I was the oldest of three children. And so um, my most memorable experience basically was when I banked the money and then drew some out. It, it gave me a certain amount of, of self-esteem and independence mainly that I could go to the store and get those penny candies or whatever and uh, didn't have to beg or ask for it. And you used to work with medicine. Did you always want to work in medical? Yes, I worked. I worked a couple summers at Stimson's Pharmacy uptown, and I went on to pharmacy school at University of Connecticut. And um, I originally wanted to be a doctor, but at that time it kind of scared me that it was going to take ten years of college or schooling to get through that. So pharmacy at the time was five. So it got. Um, but the idea was I just wanted to help people. Right. And that's the vehicle which I use, becoming a pharmacist in Connecticut. So what lessons did you learn from your first job? It, it taught me to set goals. And, and, and then when you realize your goals, you have a certain amount, like I say, self-respect for yourself, self-esteem. But mainly it was the independence that I was in contr con control of my own future, whatever that was at the time at 12 to 14 years old. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So did your first job influence your future work interests at all? Well, y yes. Um, I also had to pay my entire way through the School of Pharmacy at UConn, um, and I did the same thing there. I picked up two or three different side jobs while I was studying for five years. And then once I got out of school, um, a goal such as owning my own drugstore by age 30, I did that. And then I, I had different other positions, and right now I'm... Um, my passion is raising awareness um, of this drug abuse issue among uh, teens and young adults ages 12 to 25. And if you could describe your first job in one word, what would it be? Communication skills and then some hard work thrown in. So if you could pick your first job all over again, would you pick the same one? Yeah, um, because at that time my, my neighbors were basically elderly. Right. So I was kind of, not only were they helping me out, but I was helping them out. And it kind of worked out. And do you have any success tips for the future generations getting their first jobs? I think is that don't treat failures. Just treat those as opportunities. Um, be persistent. And, uh, and if you're turned down for a job, if you may ask on why, uh, don't be afraid to accept any kind of criticism or whatever qualifications that employer was looking for because you could build on that for your, for your next position you're trying to get. So once again, this is retired pharmacist, Mr. Ernie Morazic. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Stephanie. It's a pleasure.